Well, here I am at Bubba's Basic Mechanics again for another installment. Today, working on my duster. I'm ready to put on the TTI exhaust system. Just a kind of funny thing is, is I've had this system in a box upstairs for 11 years. So when I pulled it out, checked everything out, stupid me, if you read this real quickly, it tells you where to put your hangers at. I assumed that we were gonna hang them on the original hangers for the dual exhaust system of the car, but that's not true. And if you look real close, it does say, uh, or no, it doesn't say, but it shows a picture of your seat bolt clamps that come through your back wall to hold your back seat belts in. So that's what my son and I are gonna attempt. I can't show it to you because I don't have a pedestal, I'm not a professional video guy. So we're gonna try to attempt to do that and get them out. I'm gonna use an air pack wrench on the outside. My son's gonna lay underneath and hold the nut and the plate there. And hopefully I can get these off. And then great about the TTI system is it supplies all the nuts and bolts to replace all that stuff. So I don't have to worry about if I snap this bolt or, or vice versa, whatever happened to it, tear it up, tear the threads up, you name it. So anyway, that's what I'm just gonna show. One thing I wanna emphasize is, so when you do do a TTI system, they fit great, but they don't really, some, some of them do not use the original OEM spots on the frame or whatever for the brackets. So we're gonna give it a shot, let you know in a couple minutes. You see what happened? Yeah. It just came right off, didn't came it? Right off, snap. Oh, look at this. Oh, no, wait a minute. I don't even need you under there. There look. you go. Oh, wow. Came up perfect. WD 40 penetrate oil does wonders. <laughs> I didn't think they'd come off. What's what you said is right, though. They're, wel they're welded then. The problem is, how am I going to get those? I got to get those nuts off there, though. <laughs> nice. Dude, I didn't even think they'd come off that easy. That's super. See, that's welded on there, so I'll leave that on there. Okay, that's simple enough. That's all I that's all I really wanted to do, but now that I got you here, I might <laughs> I might need to go underneath there and uh see if we can get those off there. So let me uh, get get a setup for that. All right, so we used a thread cleaner, cleaned out the threads, rebolted, put the brackets on, slid the exhaust into this bracket, repositioned, and actually remounted on a different hole. It was on, originally on this one, we realized it was too far back, so we moved both sides up to the new hole and re ran it. Did the same thing over here, oh, right here. 